Hello, welcome back to Big Board. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about this particular scenario. It's uh, from a module out of the OCS system from Multiman Publishing. It's called Beyond the Brine, and this uh, scenario is called Time for Trumpets. And what what it's trying to capture is the Battle of the Bulge, and it runs from as far north as around Helmond, uh, Antwerp, and back, uh, I guess, uh, westwards towards uh, uh, Antwerp, right? And would that be right? Yeah. And um, then south, all the way down to the to the Saal here, I think it is. Nope, that's not the name of the town. I'm trying to find the name of a town that I. You might recognize there's Luxembourg here. Uh, so it's a large, large area, you know, heavy concentration of forces here, obviously, as the, the US and the Allies were preparing to try and press through the West Wall and get over the, get over to the Rhine, etc. So here we are in at the end of the first activation, the first turn for the Germans. And it's kind of odd. Uh, I, I'm a little, a little perplexed about what I have, uh, have done here and whether or not it's uh, legit, as the case may be. So this is after exploit movement and all the rest of it. So we've got uh, a defensive line down here at the bottom of the screen. And I basically laid a little track of units and then pushed the Panzer Grenadier through pushed uh, some other elements through and 12 Panzer through just to the edge. This is a uh, Verviers here. Sorry for the pronunciation, but you'll get over it. Uh, I wanted to get these guys across the little stream here and potentially threatening this, this flank uh, where all the nasty allied forces are, but also allowing for us to potentially try and encircle this, this, these forces here, maybe cut this pocket off if we can. Who knows? All really uh, designed also to stop any uh, southward movement to reinforce Bastogne, which is here. And uh, so, so this was the, obviously the primary focus of our attack. We had first Panzer, uh, the 58th Panzer Corps HQ, 16, 116th Panzer, 2nd Panzer, uh, <coughs> the 2nd Panzer units here, and then I've got these guys still... Um, oh, I may have forgotten to move those guys. In fact, I think I did. So I would need to move them as well. Uh, and that's really actually going to cause a bit of a problem for, for, the, for the Allies. Now you can see that there was one element, one unit here for the... Uh, allies, uh, another one here that will be isolated in their turn, even though it has some T there to sort of feed off of. So it'll take maybe two turns to reduce that. Uh, lost a step in a DG here from 9th ninth, 9th um, ninth Armour, and we couldn't reach Bastogne in time to kind of make an attack. It's only got an Armour unit there and an HQ at the moment. Now lots of reinforcements come in for the Allies, of course, and there are opportunities for forces that are in the north to move south and all that sort of good stuff and also potentially forces in the south uh, to move north uh, all the way down here excuse me down over in this area here they can move up this way as well uh, but it would appear that you know once again the uh, the uber germans uh, show themselves and have done uh, what I would call significantly ahistorically well, uh, trying to replicate this this battle, uh, the Battle of the Bulge. But it's early days, and we'll see what happens. Uh, got lots of supply. First Panzer is looking pretty tough. Um, the only thing that went sideways for the for the Germans was kind of a spoiling attack that we ran in here attacking this HQ. Now, I didn't put down the exact correct designated designated HQs, so don't freak out if this was supposed to be somewhere else. Uh, but there were two ID units in here and a, and a uh, you know, a, an armored unit there with some supply. And despite the fact that I failed my 
what am I trying to say here? Failed to uh, DG that unit, and I went ahead and attacked. And then, of course, naturally, uh, and it was a four to one attack, so it would have been okay. And it's in the it's in the clear there. Uh, <laughs> of course, I roll surprise for the for the allies, and I get six shifts, and so these guys end up taking two step losses, which was brutal. So we had to lose this unit and this unit, uh, pretty deadly. So. It's a little bit of an odd scenario, and I, I don't know whether nobody tried this or maybe I haven't got done as well as I could. I, I still got to move this Leah guys, uh, these those guys. So it's going to get ugly, and it might be not over because the visual conditions are pretty tough. You've, it's it's a uh, one v VP per city hex you capture or town hex you capture in certain areas obviously Antwerp and Liege and all those types of places all count although you know uh, affecting that type of result would be kind of crazy I don't even know why they reference that I guess it's possible with the forces at hand but gee whiz the, the Germans feel really really powerful and they seem to have plenty of supply um, so we'll see anyway we'll keep going we'll talk to you soon